Hello, students. Today we will be doing a lab, but first we'll be going over some safety rules. The first rule is... Fun, fun. Anyway, class, those fun. are the uh, rules. Wow, Jay. too happy and he runs over. I got run over by an 18 wheeler, a uh, two trucks, and I was stabbed in the heart with a trident. And uh, then at that point I was uh, actually attacked just to make things worse by a flock of seagulls. They poked both my eyes out and uh, made nest in my skull. Now the paramedics got him out and uh, reattacked my eyes, as you can see, good as new. And um, yeah, so things bad happen. You should always, always wear your goggles. Teach, teach. how to clean up chemical spills. Now, uh, ladies, I don't know how you got out of the kitchen, but uh, I think you better get on cleaning this up. So, just sprinkle this on the uh, spill and clean it up with the broom. Tool of choice. Now that I have my goggles, class, there is no loose or baggy fitting clothing such as this bathrobe. Get out. What's wrong with my bathrobe? Get out! What the heck? My class! That was easy. Yeah, it was. There's no shorts or jewelry. Uh, will you please stand up, Aaron? Such as this. But I like Aaron, so he can sit back down and stay. Thank you, thank you. The 
There's also no open-toed shoes, and uh, we run a no shoes, no service policy. Lauren. What? Put your shoes back on. You can spill acid and or hard things on your toes and break them or burn them or otherwise hurt them. And if you do wear shoes, make sure they look good, such as these. Fly kicks, courtesy Elisha Shannon. You also cannot have hair in your face or long hair. <laughs> Mr. Weiss, I'm going to have to ask you to uh, tie up your hair for me. In the back. This is a mullet. Why don't you tell her? She's a girl. His hair is longer, obviously. You're going to have to tie up your hair using this rubber band I have conveniently in my pocket. Where'd he go? Oh, and one last thing, class. No flammable clothing, such as polyester or spandex or anything soaked in gasoline. Mm -hmm. All right, class. Uh, no jewelry, because it can get tarnished and or stain your skin. No baggy clothing, because it can knock things over and catch on fire. Your hair tied back, because it could uh, catch on fire and it being in your face is not advantageous to your scientific pursuits. And uh, make sure you, you're wearing long pants because if you're wearing shorts, uh, you could spill a chemical on your bare skin. And as you can see, class, zinc comes after copper on the periodic table. So, uh, as you can see, you can make francium and uh, your main uranium make fox. Oh! Alright, everybody, see the file. All right, single file. Is everyone accounted for? This looks like the class, so we're good. If you ever need a fire extinguisher, it will be located next to the fume hood. And now we will show you how to properly use it in case of a small fire. Now, class, uh, if there was a fire, like so, this is how we would put it out. Say hello. To my little... That's out. Now class, you're going to be want to be really careful around these uh, very hot Brunson burners. Because they will um, burn you. <gasps> Mr. Mr. <laughs> Table! Oh, no. Come on! <laughs> Next class, I will talk to you about Bunsen burners and rubber hoses. First, when using the Bunsen burner, make sure the rubber hose is securely fastened to the gas nozzle. Once the hose is securely fastened and you have made sure to check the hose for any openings, Make sure the uh, Bunsen burner is full, fully turned off before turning the gas on. That way gas is not going into the room. Then once you have gas fully open, you may turn on the Bunsen burner and light below the 
find some burner instead of the valve. So where you could burn your hand, like so. Open the valve, light. As you can see, the Bunsen burner on the left is sputtering and making an orange flame, making it dangerous to the lab. Therefore, you should shut it off and dispose of it as soon as possible. And the one on the right is actually okay, but its flame is too high. So what you should do is just turn down the flame a little bit so it's not completely sputtering like silver. You will, we will be lighting a Bunsen burner under a beaker. First you turn on the gas, then light it as we were taught. Make sure the flame is at its correct height. Place the burner underneath the beaker, but make sure it's not directly underneath that way. Uh, it won't break because this is cheap Pyrex and cheap Pyrex breaks when it is under a lot of heat in a small area. Therefore, make sure it's not falling off and under like so.